development of any country depend on progressive indicators and top on the chain is agriculture. This is why small-scale women farmers organization in Nigeria, SWOFON, in partnership with Action Aid, organized a two-day national advocacy forum for proper interaction with duty bearers, key stakeholders, donors, and the media for inclusion of SWOFON in agricultural policies and programs. During her communique, the national president of SWOFON, Ms. Mary Afan, gave a count of progress from all 36 states of the Federation, including the FCT, while commending Action Aid especially for helping Nigeria simplify the national gender policy in agriculture for smallholder women farmers. Swofon asked for inclusion during capacity building by former state ministries of agriculture, financial institutions, and development partners as captured in the policy. by Sofon Executive to Sofon Board of Trustees and the General Assembly. A total number of 95 participants consisting of the state coordinators and the national executives of Sofon from the 36 states we maintain a project on women's economic empowerment in six countries, which Nigeria happens to be one of the countries because of the large population of women in Nigeria. We are tracking funding and we are also going to create um, different reports. One of the reports is we are going to see what kind of money is coming into Nigeria, who is funding what, who are the target beneficiaries. We are also going to look at coordination, who is coordinating what. A lot of times you see a lot of developmental uh, development partners funding the same projects. You are doing funds, um, projects on women here, you are doing the same kind of projects, duplicating projects while neglecting other sectors. We will also identify gaps, this, the different types of women that have not been funded, that need funding, and then we are going to create an advocacy message to say that after our research, this is what we found in Nigeria. These categories of women have been funded, these categories of women are being neglected. There is too much, there is lack of coordination amongst different implementing agencies. Another executive member, Hajia Zainab Ara, told Nigerians the impact insecurity in food production their members face. She opines members of Swofon are maimed, raped, while trying to contribute economically to sustenance of Nigerian people. Asking the government of President Muhammadu Buhari, whom she commended for the effort so far to not rest until total annihilation of criminal elements allow people to farm without fear. And this is a uh we are, we are faced on a daily basis the challenge of food production as farmers. You know, we have abundant a lot of farm just because we are afraid of rape, we are afraid of being kidnapped, we are afraid of being killed. In fact, of recent, most of the farm produce were even burnt down in silos. So our appeal to the uh, government is, of course, there is no food security without security. It was amazing while I was even coming down to Abuja, how the military men and the police were struggling to join the same train we civilians were you know, struggling to travel with. So you can see how fearful that is. So for Nigeria to meet up with the plan of exporting the farm produce or food products as they have already indicated a sign of signing the free African trade, uh, continental trade, for farmers to have bomber harvest, for farmers to even meet with the demand of Nigerians by producing food, they need to enhance security to our farm. What we did as a group of small-scale women farmers was to advocate to various agencies. Even here in Abuja, we were able to uh, visit the police headquarters. And when the PRO uh, accepted us, it was amazing. In fact, when he had what we said, he was moved to make or to try and book an appointment with IG so that they will, you know, list him from the horse's mouth and share our pains. So what am I saying? Governments need to do more to protect the lives of uh, farmers, most especially women. We are left with the challenges of food production because most of the men on daily basis have been killed. 
most of the youth that are even supporting as farming population have been killed. So we are, no, we are left with no option. Whether you, know, you think out of the box, whether you produce so many, uh, you, you use so many means of food, uh, of method to produce this food, you have to feed the family. Mohamed Jinadu, Voice TV Nigeria.